There's a new book that came out in, or it has come out in November 2020, called Finds Identified 2. So I thought I'd do a little review of what this book is and what it includes and how good it is. Um, and do a little comparison with the original book, Finds Identified, which came out in 2019. Um, because for some people, I think they're going to think, well, do I need both books? So I think it's probably just worth doing a little bit of a comparison to see how one compares to the other. So this first book, Finds Identified, came out, as I said, in 2019. Um, it's about 350 pages and it was an absolute runaway hit and not surprising. The quality of the photography in it and everything is absolutely amazing. This brilliant um, number of, of, of photographs is superb. And you get 350 pages of what really are excellent uh, examples of pretty much everything that you would find uh, if you do metal detecting. Um, so it covers everything from dress fittings all the way through to ornaments, religion and belief, domestic life, trade and commerce, etc. And what was so special about this book and what actually really helped with it, certainly for me and I think for a lot of other people, is it gives the reference number for the Portable Antiquities Scheme, because obviously that's where these books come from. Um, and in fact, the profits from this book go back into the Portable Antiquities Scheme too. It helps to finance some of their work. So again, is a really good um, additional sort of benefit from doing this. It's obviously a lot of us use the Portable Antiquities Scheme database, finds.org.uk, as a reference point uh, when we're trying to identify items. And obviously, um, we're all encouraged to make sure that we put our own items in there through the Find Liaison Officers. Um, but this book is absolutely brilliant and it, to be honest, it's quite difficult to find something that really isn't in here. And almost everything that you find will have an example of or something similar within this book. So as a starter within the hobby, this is probably the book that I think absolutely blows away any other options. Um, it's way better than anything else really out there. It really is a superb book. So the new book, Finds Identified 2, um, is actually spending more time instead on just a smaller area, dress fittings and ornaments. It does do quite a lot of examples and covers quite a lot of things which are covered in Finds Identified, but does it in a lot more detail. So for some areas like uh, brooches, um, I think there's about 130 pages here of brooches within this book. I mean, it is superb. Um, and I actually can't think of another book that's out there that gives this level of certainly photo um, photographed examples of brooches that you can find. Um, and most of the books out there as well actually only include um, items, say, that are Roman or Iron Age or medieval, whereas this obviously covers every time period. And what's good about all of these books is it does it by time period. So you start off with Iron Age, you go through to Roman, uh, Medieval, sort of Saxon Celtic, and then Medieval, and then Post Medieval. Um, and it's brilliant. So there's 130 ish pages of brooches, which is pretty phenomenal, really. Um, obviously, it covers lots of other areas too pot pins and bodkins, um, and then goes into things like buckles. Buckles is one area which I was a little bit disappointed in, if I'm honest. Um, I don't think there was enough that was done here really on a lot of post-medieval things, uh, medieval to post-medieval. Um, it just didn't seem to quite cover um, some of the areas which I thought it would do on buckles. It seems to spend a lot of time on um, ones which aren't really that usual that you find and doesn't seem to cover all the ones that I would have thought that most of us would find most of the time. But maybe that's done on purpose, I don't know. Um, strap fittings, belts and hooks, and buttons and strap fittings and sleeve clasps and lace tags. It covers all of these sort of stuff. And then goes into the more blingy things of necklaces and beads and uh, bracelets and um, pendants and finger rings and all that sort of stuff. Um, and again, the photography is amazing. Everything references back to the Portal Antiquity Scheme. So should you buy it? Well, um, if you're particularly interested in brooches, absolutely, definitely yes, because I don't think you'll find a better guide. Um, if you're starting out in the hobby, I would definitely go with Finds Identified, the original one, because um, 
the, the breadth of uh, subjects it covers is absolutely amazing. Uh, find and Identify 2 does duplicate some areas, but as I say, it covers a lot more depth as well. So personally, I think it's worth buying the extra book um, for £30 with the quality of the print, quality of the photography, um, even the paper, superb quality. Um, so it's worth having. Uh, but if you're starting out in a hobby, I would start with this one and buy that one if you've got a spare £30. It's a good book.